Hi, welcome to my channel, Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jimmy, and this is an intuitive reading. If you like it, please push like and subscribe and the little notification bell because it's free. And if you if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. Watch some other lovely reader. So this is for the week of the 1st to the 7th of March. A one is new beginnings, um, doing something uniquely, coming up with new ideas, new energy, new plans, going through till the 7th. A 7 is a, car, a number of um, learning, always wanting to learn, loving solitude, um, loving nature, loving foreign, uh, foreign people or foreign destinations, but always wanting to learn and extremely psychic. So you should always follow your intuition. Okay, so I asked for some guiding cards to start with, and here they are, they fell out. So this was quite interesting because um, we've got the beginning of some sort of new plan. This is like a new job or a new plan. It's something you've been waiting for and wanting, and it's um, like it's a new project. It's a baby. You, It's your baby you've been wanting, and you've, it's filled with light and joy and energy So and passion, so it's great. And right next to it is the um, High Priestess. So this is like you're coming up with these new ideas during the night or following the moon cycles. Your intuition is fantastic. You should always follow it. And you're guided by the world as well. They're saying that this is a new beginning and it's a new chapter in your life. The universe has got you back. Follow your instincts. And that's going to bring about the ending of the worrying and the overthinking. So that's a really great, great overview for the whole week. And now we'll go through and we'll ask Spirit for guiding messages, please, for the week. So we'd like to start off, whoops, there we go. Um, what's going to happen? What are the guiding messages you'd like us to know for Monday? Okay, you'll have your... Um, Emotions all in balance. This is where you may have been going up and down, especially if you, you're um, a water sign. Uh, but this is a water sign person too, but it's saying that now you've got your emotions in line. Um, you're feeling more settled and you're actually quietly strong, even though you appear to be soft, you're a quietly strong person. Okay, and this is also about being in tune with your intuition. Um, follow that guidance, you know, it's great. Okay, can we have a clarifier for that card, please? A clarifier for the King of Cups for the Monday. Okay, so this, for some of you, this can be actually going to hospital or talking to doctors because both of these are um, healing cards and hospital cards. Um, a doctor and a hospital. So for some of you, you may have a doctor's appointment. For others of you, it's about needing to take a rest, um, needing to have a rest so that you can recover um, from whatever you've been dealing with in the past or just recently. Okay, so for others, right, let's move on to Tuesday. What have we got for Tuesday, please? Okay, so some of you are feeling a loss and um, it's like you're wanting to start this new project or start the new things in your life, but you think, thinking small instead of big and thinking, have I got enough money? Will I be able to do it? Change the thought pattern to something positive. Money always flows easily to me. I will always find a way. Um, this new direction flows easily to me. Something like that. Make up some affirmation that changes any negative thoughts about money or feeling a lack or a loss in your life. Focusing on what you haven't got instead of what you have got. Okay, a clarifier please. Wow, okay. So some of you have been really down or carrying a lot of burdens in your mind, overthinking everything. All these sorts of thoughts and ideas rushing around in your head. But your spirit is here and when it's ready... Um, you will end this thinking or this overthinking. Uh, it's a 10, so to me a 10 is a 1. This is coming to an end. You're overthinking and overthinking, and that's now about to come to an end, which then allows new things to pop on. So let's have another clarifier for that as well, thank you. Because just remember, the overruling um, cards for the whole week are very positive. Okay, so that's what you've meant to focus on. 
yes it's like you've done all the hard work you're sitting there waiting now you've got you've planted the seeds you've got your ideas planned out you're waiting for your ships to come home it's like this can be working with others instead of working on your own too and so this ten of swords can be just overthinking these plans and ideas it doesn't need to necessarily be negative thinking that you're down um, or you know worrying it's more it can be where this is such a great new venture new idea new plan now you're waiting for it to start happening and you can't stop thinking about it and actually for whatever reason whatever it is sorry that you're doing um, the answer is yes for some of you asking about it the answer is yes it's a great opportunity this can be working with others can even be a business opportunity or business plans but working with others and you're surrounded by the sun positivity joy happiness it's fabulous it's a great outcome okay Wednesday please I'm glad that clarified the rest of that because it was a little bit of negative but we can override that yep here we are Wednesday you're moving forward and progressing with your money you will some of you will even be receiving some money that is owed to you um, could be from a little bit of inheritance or some job you've done in the past um, but it's a blessing it's something that you you're you're wanting right let's have a clarifier please for that and a clarifier for the six of pentacles well some of you have been overworking just working so hard or others of you have just been carrying so many problems with you for so long that's now coming to an end but you could possibly the ones that are overworking end up with a sore back so um, some of you it's like you're ending a job now and that's why you're getting the money and for others of you like the burdens you're letting them finally go because as soon as you make your mind up to do that new things will come in Let's have a clarify for that too, please. Clarify for the Ten of Wands. Tens are endings and new beginnings. So, Ten of Wands. Okay. So, some of you are quite tired. And this is a card of feeling bleh. You've got um, your dreams up here. Wanting things. You've got your dreams and hopes. But you're feeling really, really flat. You've got all your lovely cups and, and emotions down here. Um, and feeling really good about a lot of things but there's something else that's stopping you from moving forward feeling tired feeling emotionally down it can be brought on by past hurts as well because the universe is trying to offer you something but while you're feeling down you won't be able to see that opportunity if it comes along so they're saying pick up your energy and vibration in any way you can so that you don't block things or don't miss out on things that you need to be able to see. Have a clarifier for that too, please. Clarifier for the Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, some of you are really tied down. Some of you are struggling. I can see that because here as well, you're struggling. It's like you're, you're absolutely tied down in a toxic situation. It can be toxic to do with someone, um, a, a work colleague, someone you don't really like working with. It can be a family member. It can be tied down with debts, um, drugs, um, situations, horrible people around you, which is making you feel quite disillusioned about everything and overwhelmed emotionally. So when you're getting like that, this is only for some of you, you're not all feeling like that, but if you feel like that, it's um, time to go and get a massage or go and get a healing or an aura cleansing or something like that um, to make yourself feel better. But I would focus instead on affirmations that make you feel strong and happy. Um, if it's people that are really, really getting to you, say in a work situation, keep thinking um, love and light towards them and that they're going to um, find a job in a different area and be happy, which then solves the problem for both of you. And if it's a toxic partnership, um, although I don't see it as that, I just see it more as being in a toxic situation. Um, use your affirmations to think positively, to change your your situation. It is up to you. Sevens are about choices too, learning something from that. This can be just too when you're absolutely tied down with debts, trying to pay off credit cards, things like that. And you're trying to learn how to how to manage money. This is a money card as well or a Capricorn card. Take a look at yourself. What do you really want? 
don't deceive yourself and don't let other people deceive you because that's what it's about being deceived or deceiving yourself and being trapped or tied down in some way in some situation which makes you feel absolutely overwhelmed and you can't see your way forward but there was a card next to it was the psychic high priestess so use your intuition doesn't matter which path you take you'll always be on the right path to learn the lessons that you're here to learn follow your own guidance because you can do it okay thursday approximately as i've said a number of times there's no um no time in the spirit world so it's just whenever you um watch this okay so what have we got for thursday thursday yes now we're finally getting everything back in balance it's like having your money organized balanced you're standing there saving up for your house or working hard to have your money for your security and for your future. You're building up your nest egg. So that's the standing on the pentacle. It's like you're building, working towards having that security in the future. And fours are about planning, having things organized. You've got that four of cups as well. That can also be a message of don't forget to have some fun. Don't just keep work, work, work. Have some fun as well. So the clarifier for that four of pentacles is the wheel of fortune. So don't try and fight life because when you try to control, fours are quite controlling actually. Um, you want everything under control and everything organized. But this is a card of going with the flow and have some fun. Um, think of positive outcomes. Don't always just think that you've got to keep working, working, working. Okay, Friday please. Friday, what's happening Friday? Yep, you've learnt your lessons, great. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this is Friday and going into the weekend. Learning your lessons, this is the sevens coming out here. People sometimes think this is a card of deception, but if you look at her, she's very happy. I feel that she's learnt her lessons from the past, or he... You've learnt your lessons from where people have ripped you off, let you down, or you've been spending too much money or doing things that didn't agree with your life at the time. You've learnt from that now. You're moving forward of your own volition, taking with you your new plans and your new ideas of what you've learnt so that you can move forward in life. This is a lovely card. It can represent changing jobs, moving home, but definitely moving ideas and changing the way you think about things. Right next to it is, yes, this is allowing you by changing the way you look at things even though you've got all your lovely happiness and all your cups there this is a card of now leaving those things in the past those memories in the past where they belong they may have been holding you holding you back in the past uh, but now you can move forward and feel a lot happier about where you're going and that's going to enable you to overcome any um, difficulties to do with projects to do with work um, home uh, wanting to buy a house you're standing there you've got your dreams you can see like I want my castle and now this has got the, the victory on the wand here it's like yep you've done your homework you can plan properly or the new job whatever it is you're learning you've learnt from all your lessons so that you can make the right decisions it's the same with here's the next seven so there's three uh, there's actually four sevens and it's all about learning and change because I actually had to look this up last night. Um, four sevens, or you can go and look up the angel meaning of four sevens and it's about learning and change and um, things, you've got a lot of changes coming up and things are happening for you. So here you are working for that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and you're actually able now to um, put away some money of overcoming your difficulties from what you've been um, doing in the past. And it's going to make you feel so happy. You're going to be really pleased. And the outcome is feeling very happy with your situation. So even though we've got a bit of a downtime in the middle of the week, focus on the happy, positive cards, especially this card. Is, and the first cards I pulled out too were amazing. You're moving into a new phase in your life, and um, which is going to bring you all sorts of um, joy, happiness, and positivity. Okay, so we've got some lovely guiding messages now from Tony Carmine Salerno, the angel of clearing space, um, space clearing. Okay, so time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings, which I feel you're going to do. The angel of space clearing has shown up in your reading today to help you clear the negative thought patterns and feelings which have surfaced recently as a result of your dwelling on past mistakes and regrets. 
These unconstructive thoughts and feelings are the primary source of stress in your life at present. Not only are they causing you to feel confused, they're also preventing positive new energies from entering your life. Close your eyes and feel the loving presence of the beautiful angel who is here to help you clear and heal all these unwanted thoughts and emotions. Imagine yourself being showered with light. Imagine a beam of rainbow coloured light penetrating your heart while another beam of rainbow light penetrates your mind. Feel your thoughts and perceptions begin to relax and your emotions becoming clear, calm and balanced. Now give thanks to God and your angel for this wonderful healing. I think that's gorgeous and also Mother Mary also from Tony Salerno from one of his other packs okay gorgeous Mother Mary he, he channels his own art and channels the messages so he's amazing I love his um, work dearest one so this is for some of you I ask you to surrender the fear and anxiety you hold for a loved one's well-being trust all will turn out for the highest God of all concerned this current situation is simply part of your loved one's life experience and learning. A blessing eventually stems from this current event. Remember, at the heart of all creation, only love exists. Allow divine love to stir within your heart. Feel it move the earth and stars as the miracle of life forever unfolds. Have faith in the universal spirit of life and know that you and those dear to you are eternally protected. I shower your loved one with protective and healing light, so please do not worry. Okay, so I hope that helps some of you who are worrying about um, a, a friend or a family member. Right, let's just have a couple of other guiding messages. Thank you, lovely Louise. Hey, what do people know? Can we have a healing card for somebody? There we go. Thank you. Okay, I have the power to make changes. This way, that way, I have the power to make changes. That's actually really good for the Deceiver card and the Seven of... Um, cups when you're overwhelmed and don't know which way to go I have the power to make the changes it is so comfortable to play victim because it is always someone else's fault I have to stand on my own two feet and take some responsibility okay so that's for some of you someone out there who'll know who that's for and now the lovely Frida guiding cards there we go let every gesture show the world your blooming, fragrant heart. Thank you. And another guiding message. Thank you from the Frida. Frida cards. Another message. Have we got another one, please? Yep. Oh, well, we've got a few there. Okay. Um, you are special, so be special. Decide to specialise in something for your creative success. Dive into your life, allowing your beautiful words and actions to become inspirational. As you must serve everything you create, it's a good idea to do so with love and integrity. Live to honour a legacy of love and propel yourself with your infinity. Be the star of your life. Okay, people, thank you so much. Don't forget to push like and subscribe. And I do personal readings as well. That'll be shown below. So blessings to you all. Love and light. See you next week. Bye.